At the eerie hour of two in the morning, a man named Daniel Palomino ventured alone through a shadowy plaza. Unexpectedly, something unsettling occurred. Daniel, who often shares his escapades through live streams, was recording this particular walk. Normally, during his free time, he would stroll alone at night, live streaming with his phone in hand. However, the events of the night of September 28, 2023, left him deeply shaken. As per his routine, Daniel was live streaming to his audience, who suggested various locations for him to explore during his nocturnal journey. One spot recommended was the rumored haunted old plaza. Initially hesitant, Daniel eventually made his way to the plaza upon realizing its proximity. Yet it proved to be a grave error. Me sale ese efecto. Gente, huele quemado. Gente, huele quemado. Huele quemado, no sé si... After wandering through the darkened mall for some time, a peculiar occurrence began to unfold. A puzzling burning scent wafted through the air, causing Daniel to sniff around in confusion. Failing to pinpoint the source, the smell abruptly dissipated, leaving him perturbed. The situation heightened in eeriness when a viewer on the live stream disclosed a chilling fact. No, me digan, dicen, dicen la leyenda que hay niños que juegan hasta tarde en la resi. En el casino Garden que está abajo hubo un incendio y murieron personas. No, no, no te... The plaza once housed a casino that had been ravaged by fire, claiming many lives. This revelation left Daniel unnerved, especially as he had just detected the scent of burning. His mind drew a chilling connection to the tragic fire incident of the past. Filled with unease, Daniel made a swift decision to depart. However, as he attempted to leave, a disquieting sight halted him in his tracks. Wait, what is this? What? Is it a or is it a cat? What is this? In the distance, an indiscernible figure loomed ominously, its stature seemingly smaller than that of a child. Startled, Daniel swiftly sought an alternate exit. Just when he thought he couldn't be more alarmed, Another eerie encounter awaited him. Lights and devices around him suddenly powered down, plunging him into darkness. Gente. ¿Qué pasó? Overwhelmed by the inexplicable events, Daniel was left questioning everything he had experienced that fateful night. To this day, he remains silent about the mysteries of that unsettling evening or from the unexplained burning odor to the enigmatic figure that appeared before him. The haunting events of that night have yet to find closure or explanation. What was truly captured in the shadows of the plaza remains an enigma, shrouded in darkness and uncertainty. I wouldn't suggest watching this video alone, as what happens in it is pretty creepy. Reddit user Sir Squid posted the following video and writes, my wife and I occasionally hear footsteps when nobody is there, and sometimes this is followed by a rocking chair moving. I set up a motion camera over the weekend, and this happened.
Now, if the rocking chair didn't stop, I would have dismissed this as fake. Someone could have easily pulled this off with a string and blurred it out with special effects. However, how the rocking chair stopped seems as though someone stood up from it. Perhaps it was a ghost that stood up just to knock over the stuff on the shelf. But as always, I'll leave it up to you to come up with your own explanation. Feel free to share down below. He was just sleeping in his room one night when something calls out to him. A man by the name Ali was fast asleep in his room one night, when suddenly, he hears what sounds like his wife's voice calling out to him. Horrified by the fact that it's late at night and his wife's away from home, he records the event. His wife's voice can be heard coming from downstairs. But through his home security camera, the door outside his bedroom rocks back and forth on its own. <laughs> Ali later explains that he attempted to communicate with the spirit of the previous owner of the house, and ever since then, he's been visited by this entity. Uh, Lewis, are you friendly? Oh, no, 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 When you looked up there, yeah, you waved to somebody like that and you blew a kiss to them, didn't you? Yeah? So, can you come here a minute? Can you tell Mummy who you were waving to? No. Why? Because I don't know who it is. Okay, well, what did they look like? No, I was laughing. Why won't you tell Mummy who it was? Please tell me. But it's no, it's nobody. But you did wave to somebody, didn't you? I'm going to see who it is upstairs. No, no, don't go up. Just tell mummy who it was. But, but I just want to go and see who it upstairs. Was it a boy? Was it a girl? Was it a baby? Was it an old uh, woman like Nanny? An older man, like Grandy. A girl. It was a girl? Yeah. And what did they look like? Uh, it looks like me. It just looks like me. Was she young? Yeah. Is she your friend? No. She's not your friend now? No. Is she not very nice? No. Is she mean? Where, where have you seen her before? So you've only seen her at the top of the stairs? Yeah. Yeah? When you wave at her and blow her a kiss, does she wave back and blow kisses back? No. no. What does she do when what you blow kiss? Do? In the next video, captured by two friends while wandering through a secluded forest, something very strange was discovered. The friends were filming for a small project, unaware of the eerie past behind the spot they chose. A chilling tale from years ago recounts how a boyfriend and girlfriend camped in that same forest to hide their drug use. Tragically, the boyfriend overdosed and passed away followed by the girlfriend, whose demise remains a mystery. Since then, rumors spread of the forest being haunted in curiosity and fear in many. As the two friends ventured deeper into the forest, they heard faint screams in the distance. Initially brushing it off as kids playing, the screams grew louder and more urgent, as if someone required help. 
What if I scream to scare the demons? They would mimic your scream. Huh. That never scared me anyway. Maybe it's just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. That in the forest we're in? Yeah. <laughs> With the history of the haunted forest in mind, the girls panicked and fled the scene, unsure of who or what was behind the distressing sounds. Speculations arose about the nature of the screams. Was it a ghostly echo of the past or a living person in need of aid? <laughs> the more you listen, the less scary it sounds. The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Friends eventually called the police, but the outcome of the situation remains a mystery. The video ends abruptly, leaving viewers pondering the unsettling events within the forest. Could the cries for help have been real, or were they just part of the haunted folklore surrounding the area? The unsettling mystery lingers, shrouded in the dark secrets of the forest. Well, we could kill them all with self-replicating nanotech that turns organic material to dust. Interesting, but what about changing the atmosphere to lower oxygen levels? Slow, but unstoppable. That's stylish. Or we could poison the ocean so the water kills all life. Yes, and we could alter the sun's rays to burn everything. A global heat storm to destroy all. We shouldn't forget psychological warfare. We could create a global hallucination that drives humanity mad. The world won't see us coming. Humanity's end. And all while we stay in the shadows, invisible, all-powerful, untouchable. <laughs> Leave me alone! The source to this video has been heavily debated on the internet. In the video, a man shows off his campsite in Deschutes, Oregon, when later that night things go horribly wrong. Some believe the video could have been recorded by Jacob Edris, Jacob disappeared in 2017 and was last seen in Eugene, Oregon after frantically calling his boss claiming he was being chased by someone. Others believe that the footage was shot by Chase Hove, who also went missing in 2017. Chase disappeared in the same area where this video was recorded. All right, well, it may seem like a bit much, but here I am solo camping. This is shoots Oregon. Well, close to Bend, Oregon. I brought the eight-person tent, or the six-person tent. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time, so I thought first of the season I should pull that out, give it a, give it a go. It's about that time. Sun is setting. It's about eight o'clock. Should be dark out here in less than an hour. Let me get a little bit over there to the trees. Beautiful night. Definitely going to be turning in early, though. I have been woken up by these god noises. Yeah, you can hear it. It's up from that side. It sounds right outside the tent. There's something right outside the tent. Leave me alone!
Flashlight. Now I can't see a god thing outside this night vision. Jesus Christ. I don't know where the f chased me off. I'm wandering the god darkness. In the city of Pocopa, Peru, there is a large plaza known as one of the biggest in town. It's a popular spot for kids, with events specially organized for children. Even the plaza's mascot is designed to appeal to young ones, as seen in the many TV ads that feature it. Among the laughter and playful chatter of the kids, accidents are not uncommon in this bustling place. However, one incident that occurred in 2016 left a lasting impact. A young girl named Valentina Yamalith was tragically electrocuted at an instant photo booth inside the plaza. The exposed cable from the machine had touched a metal railing, leading to the unfortunate event that claimed Valentina's life. After days of mourning, the memory of Valentina's tragic passing slowly faded away, but strange occurrences started surfacing in the same plaza where she met her untimely end. Late at night after the stores had closed, a surveillance camera inside one of the shops captured something eerie. The video footage showed a small child moving rapidly back and forth, at a speed that seemed unnatural. This unexplained sight puzzled the mall employees, who couldn't shake the feeling that it might be the ghost of Valentina. Was this a glimpse of her spirit wandering the plaza? Or was there a different explanation for the mysterious activity caught on camera? The mystery lingers, leaving a sense of unease in the air. These guys are braver than me. On February 4th, 2013, this creepy video was uploaded by Meta Addison on YouTube. I'll tag it below.
and it was filmed on the Umatilla Indian Reservation in East Oregon, and being native to the area, they didn't know what it was, but many attributed it to foxes or coyotes. But the legends in the area are a rabbit hole all in its own, because this is not the only creepy video that I've covered in this area. And many were quick to speculate that coyotes, for example, have a much more canine-like shriek. But as always, let me know what you think. What is that? Oh! YouTuber Mr. Omega often goes on overnight challenges to explore abandoned and spooky places in New Zealand. This time, he plans to stay overnight in the unfinished and abandoned Spooner's Tunnel. Okay, here we are here. The only person I have with me is Max. You know, man's best friend and everything. Oh man, look at that. There's a vehicle over there that's burnt out too. Oh man, look at it. I managed to secure myself a place to uh, stay for the night and as you can see out here it is totally dark now, it's, the sun's gone right down, there's no more light left. If I turn my light off, now this, this is the freaky thing, when I turn this light off it is totally pitch black and silent. You ready? Here we go. We're going to complete our overnight challenge. Yes, yes we do. Alright Max, let's go back in. Here it is. Woo! Who's that? Who's that, Max? What the action? Can you guys, can you guys hear that? Oh. Max, where is it? I don't know if you guys can hear this on the camera, but there's something. What is that? Oh. What the? Hello? What is that? Max, what is that? Hello? Is there somebody here? This is creepy as... What the hell? Is anyone here? What is that? Oh! He is completely stunned by what happened and has no idea why anyone would be hiding in the tunnel at 4 a.m. Especially because the tunnel is in the middle of nowhere, miles away from any house. <laughs> was filming a quick update for her socials when she noticed something odd in the background of one of the clips. Take a look and see if you can spot anything unusual. If we watch that again, slowed down, you can make out several little dark figures running through the grass. They almost look like meerkats running by. Kelly said they looked like black shadows and had no idea what they could be. 
The clip blew up on Facebook, hitting over 1 million views, with hundreds of comments speculating on what the odd little figures might be. Some said it could be little people. In the realm of videos captured by baby monitors, where strange occurrences often unfold, an unusual phenomenon takes center stage in the following footage. Joanna Pasco, a mother deeply devoted to her daughter Evelyn, shares a video that unveils a peculiar sight inside the child's bedroom. As we delve into Joanna's past marked by heartbreak from two miscarriages before the birth of Evelyn, the tender care she bestows upon her daughter becomes evident. Mysterious events unfold as Joanna gazes at the baby monitor one day and spots an inexplicable presence hovering near Evelyn's crime. Okay, 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 that's not possible. What is that? What is that? What is it? Look at the way, look! It's lingering. Is it the light outside? Like... The, there's no pinhole empty, like, the curtains, I pulled the curtains closed. And it's not leaving. It's getting near her. Oh my god. Did she just, did she just touch it? Where did it go? Prime. A small orb of light hovers around Evelyn, captivating the young girl's attention as she playfully engages with it. As onlookers speculate about the nature of this ethereal visitor, some suggesting it could be a spirit, guardian angel, or otherworldly entity. Joanna finds solace in the idea that a mysterious force watches over her daughter. The sense of reassurance she derives from this mysterious presence illustrates the deep bond and protective nature of a mother's love. What could be the origin of this phenomenon, and what role might it play in Evelyn's life? It's getting near her. Oh my god. Did she just, did she just touch it? Where did it go? Alone at home, the dog owner sets up a camera, suspecting a prank from his friend Eric. As the video unfolds, it reveals a chilling tale. Nala, the loyal dog, starts barking frantically, but the owner soon realizes Derek is not the one causing the commotion. Nala! 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 Derek? Nala, come on out. Nala, come on out, seriously. Derek? Oh. 
Who do I love? <gasps> Who do I love, pretty girl? Derek? Derek, that you? dog owner calls out to Nala and Derek repeatedly, growing more anxious as his beloved pet seems terrified. As he tries to coax Nala to leave, the bedroom door mysteriously shuts on its own. This strange occurrence leaves the dog owner and Nala fleeing to his parents' house, convinced that something paranormal had taken place. The unsettling footage raises questions. Could there be a logical explanation for these spine-tingling events, or is there a ghostly presence haunting Nala and her owner?